All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, shallow long salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth, and sincerity wholeheartedly, and shallow one to the Akwath, which is the women believers, shallow one to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. So the Lord is balanced. And since the Lord is balanced, you got to receive both sides. And right now we're under curses. And the only gift that we receive while we under curses is this truth, the Holy Spirit. That's the only blessing that we receive is this truth. And by receiving the truth, now our hope is the blessing. Oh, we see the curses. We live in the curses. We don't have to hope for that. But the blessings is something we have to hope for. And that's what this video is going to be centered around. So since the Lord, uh, uh, since a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, which means by default, if the Lord just keep us in this state, in, in this condition that we are in, the Lord will be a liar. And the Lord said, and the scripture says that he is not a liar. He cannot lie. He is righteous. There is only good. There's only one good. And that's the father. Yahweh Shai said that out of his own mouth. In Matthew 19 and 16. So. We have something to look forward to. And matter of fact, let me get this. This is in the same chapter of the new covenant, too. So it says in the shell come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, save Yahweh Bashem al Shai. See, that's the balance right there. The Lord is not going to destroy us forever. That was never the Lord's intentions. From the promise, starting with Abraham, we was always going to be the stars of heaven, man. He said his seed was going to be the stars of heaven. That's a twofold scripture right there. Stars, which is, a, is so many of them. All right. You can't count them. Remember, he said that your seed was going to be as the sand and the sea. But also your status. So. The Lord always intended for us. Because we are his children to rule the earth. He made the earth for our sakes. But this is all this. Everything is centered around our hope. So let's get a class of scripture. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. So we don't see new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. We 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 don't see nobody getting beamed up into a chariot. And the Lord putting crowns on our head. We don't see those things right now. We don't see how the scripture says, which I'm eventually getting this video. Um, Lord willing, we don't we don't see ourselves being changed in a twinkle of an eye and we have an immortal body. That's all the things that we hope for. Right now, we're under curses in Esau's kingdom and Esau is <laughs> bugging out. As the scripture say he would in Habakkuk two and four, it said that the just should live by his faith in, in, in the soul. Matter of fact, let me get it because I'm butchering it. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just should live by his faith. So this devil is bugging out. The Lord said, listen, you have to live by your faith because this this ninja all right, Esau, Edom, he crazy. He the wicked. You're going to see some things in your lifetime. He said that if it were possible, he'd be able to deceive the very elect. Every time I read that scripture, I just meditate on like what kind of things we're going to see. But we're going to see some marvelous things. So, um, so which, which, if you're not part of the elect, you will get discouraged. You get faint hearted. You might even get um, enchanted into whatever he going to bring forth.
you know? So um, everything that we hope for is based off of faith. The Lord made it this way. That's why this truth is precious and only certain people can get it. See, when something is scarce, that makes it special. When everybody have access to it, that's not special. So everything that we look forward to being immortal, never dying again, having a kingdom, that's all. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, matter of fact. Uh, it says, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man see it. Why do he yet hope for, you know, one of my favorites. And that's very true. So you got people, as the scripture says, how would I said to himself, a wicked and adulterous generation seek of after a sign. The Lord said that the just should live by his faith. If we, if the Lord is basically did, did some project blue bean showing us the future, then what would we have to hope for? We see it. We are. Right, this, this is going to happen. Cool. The just should live by their faith. And the Lord made it that way. You have no choice but to have faith because we are in the worst position possible. We are in the clutches of this damn devil, man. And if you don't have your Hawa Bashim Shai, it's over for you. You're going to die. And, and what I mean by that, because if you take the MOTB, you might be able to pro your life, prolong your life for a little bit longer than a person who rejects the MOTB. But now you got to actually meet the Lord. You're going to be tormented in the presence of the Lamb and the Holy Angels, as I say in Revelation 14, 9, 10, and 11. All right. So. Say, OK, you get scared, you take the digital implant and then what, a week later, you have a come just use an example. So you live longer than a person who got beheaded, who stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, now he about to get a crown. And you, you lived uh, seven more days longer just to eat a missile. So verse 25, but if we hope for that, wait, if, but if we hope for that, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? But that takes faith. Let me get it because I always quote it. This is why the Lord said. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Do you understand what impossible mean? I know what impossible mean, but let's see what they say what impossible mean. Not able to incur, exist, or be done. So it's not able, you're, it's not able to be done to please the Lord. It cannot be done. You cannot please the Lord without faith. It can't be done. All right. So. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is in the irony of that. That's what Yahweh mean. Yahweh mean he is. And he and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So for the men who've been diligently seek him. So let's talk about the apostles who've been in the truth for three decades or more. That's some, that's 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 what you call men who've been diligently seeking the Lord. But guess what? They still down here like us still preaching. They older men. They out there in the elements. All right. They looking for a reward and it takes faith. Even the scripture says faith without works is dead. You're not going to. First of all, ain't nobody going to do works without faith. Like faith is an action word. They go together. So. You know, everything that we hope for, we hope that the Lord give us the strength. 
You know what I'm saying? The Lord give us the strength to get through these days. Matter of fact, let me just make me think of this. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, talk about this flesh, yet the inward man, our spirit, is renewed day by day. That's what keep us going. That's what keep us going. The Lord having mercy upon us, strengthening our spirit. Because some days, you know, you really feel down. You might be going through something, you know, Satan, you know, kicking your ass. But the Lord building you, be building you up. Because when you, when you overcome that, whatever situation you're in, you get stronger. Like, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Like, I'm a grown-ass man, and I still watch Dragon Ball Z because it's spiritual to me. But, so, when it comes to the Saiyans, when you beat them to the inch of their life, so they don't die, right? You beat them to the inch of their life. They, they take, take a senso beam and then they get stronger. All right. Now, we know the senso beam, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, that just heal you. I'm talking about they get stronger. Like when they um in, in the saga of the freeze, the freezer saga. You got to understand that. And um, I hate going into this. I'm pretty sure, you know, y'all don't probably watch this, but in the in the. um. In the Frieza saga, you have Vegeta. Vegeta, it was one scene, one episode, basically, where he wanted Krillin to basically hit him with one of his, um, you know, energy blasts to almost kill him. And then that's what he did. Then he put him in this, um, I forgot what the stuff was called, but he basically put him in this machine to heal him. And then when he came out of the machine, he was way stronger than what he was because you know how they say, um, we don't die, we multiply. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like baby kids. But seriously, though, like when you overcome these things, you get stronger. The things that you go through, you know, and, you, and the Lord give you the ability and the grace to overcome, you get stronger, man. And all of this is building us up for the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Jacob's trouble. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, even though it seemed like it's forever. Which worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now this is what you call, you got to have faith. Come on, man. We don't know nothing about no eternal life. We see death every day. We see sickness every day. People in our family have died. People are sick in our family. So we get sick. We can die. You know, we don't know nothing about eternal life. We don't, to be honest, we don't know nothing about the promises that the Lord is talking about. But we believe it because as the scripture says in John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And then also in John 14 and 26, he said, I'm going to give you uh, the Holy Spirit and you should know all things. And then also in Ephesians 2 and 8. Faith and grace is a gift from Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and it's not of yourself. So, the reason that we are who we are and we believe the way that we believe, because the Lord blessed us to believe. We are programmed to believe. And by believing, this is what the Lord says. And all of this take faith. He that will have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of the Most High. That's the kingdom. We don't know nothing about a kingdom. We in somebody else's kingdom. You know, basically, we have to go to him for one of all things. That's the saying, the curse is doing around me 28 and 48. You're working a job, can barely pay your bills. We don't know nothing about no damn kingdom. But the Lord said he's going to give us one. And it takes faith. And if you have the eyes to see, you see that it's closer. As it's saying in Romans 13 and 11, your salvation is nearer than what you believe. So while we waiting, look, look, look what this says. Hope deferred, make up the heart sick. So when something deferred is delayed. So hope delayed, make up the heart sick. But when the desire come up is a tree of life. All right. The tree of life. 
is actually what we started off with in the garden. We was in the kingdom. We was immortal before we knew about sin, but we had to learn both sides. Okay, that's the will of the Lord. So, to end it on this, and this is another one, which is one of my favorites. You have to have faith to believe this. That's why it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, this mortal must put on immortality. We don't know nothing about that. All right, but we believe it. And it says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? This is what we look forward to. This is what we believe in. We don't care about anybody else who don't believe because it's not meant for you. But yeah. So everything is based off of faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashanel Shai. So hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.